Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a desktop background slideshow on your MacBook computer. So basically, if you want the wallpaper to change after so many minutes in a random order, or perhaps you have different photo albums you want to switch between, or perhaps you just like the different Mac themes that are available on your computer, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start by just clicking on a blank area on our desktop and then you want to go ahead and select the Apple icon near the top left corner of the desktop screen. So go ahead and left click on that and then you want to select System Preferences. Select where it says Desktop and Screensaver. Select the desktop button. And now at this point there should be an option where it says change picture. Go ahead and check mark inside of that. And then where it says every 30 minutes or so, or whatever interval you want to change it, click inside of here. And you can set it to change every 5 seconds, every minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, every hour or every day. Or perhaps when you're waking up from sleep or when you're logging in. And once you have it how you want it or in terms of how often you want the frequency to change. You can go ahead and select on the left panel here what you want to use as your source of this. So you can go ahead and select different themes here so such as the light and dark desktop theme, desktop pictures perhaps. So you just would go ahead and click inside of a different area here and then you would have a rotating theme between these options. Or maybe you had a photo album, so let's say your folders, let's say your pictures folder, if you were to go ahead and left click on that. If you had photos in here, you could select that. Otherwise, if you had a different file location for all those photos, you can click the little plus sign. And you could add a different folder location for the photos you want to rotate between. And you go ahead and select choose. So again, you locate the folder, select choose, and they would rotate between the photos. Just be cautious with this that if you accidentally delete the folder containing these photos, if you pick some custom location, your wallpaper will more than likely be broken and it's not going to work. You'd have to go and change it back to something else. But just keep that in mind when you start going with custom wallpapers. But again, pretty straightforward. Once you're done making your change, you can just close out of here. And that is honestly about it. You may need to restart your computer, but like I said, Hopefully I should have been able to address the issue you had coming in this video. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.